What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone had an amazing weekend. It's Sunday, fun day. Hopefully, you got something amazing planned. I think just in a little bit, I'm up nice and early. Gonna make this video. Gonna go wake the girlfriend up and gonna go run to the casino nice and early in the morning. Well, this is how we like it. No one's there. You know, get to do what you want, walk around, get some wins in, hopefully, and then get back, hopefully, mid afternoon. A couple of bucks in our pockets and then go catch some sun and enjoy the rest of the day. That's what my day looks like. Hopefully the casino puts a nice smile on our faces on the way out. In this episode, we got a lot to talk about. Spot ETF. Are the inflows about to juice up, sauce up? We just seen the Ethereum flag wave or raise in front of Wall Street. We're going to hear from Stuart Alderati. I still, I don't understand. There's so much drama and bickering going on back and forth that the sec is going to appeal listen what are they appealing they won they're not getting any more money they got the most money they were going to get torres isn't going to go back to this rule book and be like you know what i think you're right i give you guys 94 percent of what you were asking for that's just that's awful let me let me give you guys some more money no stuart alderati even tells you and i got the clip i got the exact time stamp lined up for you there's not going to be no appeal in this case the thing is done then we're going to look at bitcoin bnb coin let's do it bitcoin sixty one thousand one hundred and twenty nine dollars it's currently up about a half a percent in the past 24 hours ethereum coming in at two thousand six hundred and seventy three it's up one point five two percent usdt and usdc both coming in after dollar pegs as xrp is a mean lean 58 cents it's down 1.29 percent it's trying to get into the green on the hourly let's see what happens usually over the weekend not too much action right we'll see what comes on monday Hopefully, we get a nice little push up in the markets. But XRP, where is it? It's in Chop City, just like the rest of the market. The rest of the market right now is in a zone we call Chop City. It goes up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Until it decides to make its move, until it decides to make its breakout, folks. Is that coming 100%? Look, Bitcoin, any day now, is going to make its powerful move. It's going to blast through 74. It's going to blast up into that $90,000 range. That's what's coming next for this thing. For the time being, we stay in Chop City. Nothing to worry about. Bull run isn't canceled. The bull run isn't over. The fun is just getting started. This is what we've been waiting for. We've been involved in crypto for the past three and a half, six and a half, nine and a half years for times like this, for the bull cycle. That is what we are about to come. Remember. The bull run doesn't start until a couple of months after the halving. We were spoiled this time around because we saw Bitcoin break its all-time high before the halving even taken place. That has never happened before. What does that signal to me? That we are in a super cycle. A cycle where a ton of money like we have never seen before is about to enter the crypto space. That is what it signals for me. That is where this markets are going. This thing isn't ending until summer, maybe even fall of 2025, folks. It hasn't begun. You haven't seen anything just yet. Kamala Harris, she extends her lead on poly market. Is her crypto support shifting? I don't know. Look, we don't talk too much about politics on this channel. I really don't care, to be honest with you. Everyone is going to have their own opinion. You're never going to convince someone to sway their opinion either, right? So there's no reason to even talk about it. But what we are seeing is she is repeating word for word exactly what Trump has said about crypto, about the borders, and about every other major topic he has spoken on. If you don't believe me, I want you to go listen to what this man just said, especially at the Bitcoin conference on cryptocurrency. And I want you to go look at what she just recently came out and said. She's pretty much plagiarizing everything that the man has spoken about. Yeah. Crazy, isn't it? I know. Then we get this. Look, the Ethereum flag being raised at Wall Street. It's pretty cool. Bitwise Ethereum ETF. I don't remember him doing this for Bitcoin, so it's kind of interesting he did this for Ethereum. In the meantime, where is ETH? You know, it's kind of at the bottom of the zone. We told you ETH can get around 
28,000. We said worst case this thing of like black swans. We always have these worst case events and we got it. It would get to 22, exactly what it did. All in the timing of the ETF. Why? Well, people bought the news and the price went up. The news dropped. What happened? The price went back down. And in the meantime, what's going on with Ethereum's and the ETFs? The weekly inflows just hit 105 million. Is Ethereum going to 3,000? Of course. Ethereum's going to 5,000, then 7,000, and 10,000, possibly $12,000, folks. That's where Ethereum's going. The Ethereum ETF is playing out the exact same way the Bitcoin ETF played out. How did the Bitcoin ETF play out? Simple. Bitcoin ETF was announced. Bitcoin price went down. People laugh. This is what an ETF does to assets. It crashes the price. And now look at Bitcoin. It's up in the $60,000 range, about to make a run into the $90,000 range. Same things happen with Ethereum right now. Ethereum ETF came out. Price crashed. 2200 was the lows. Now making its way up. First stop is going to be 3500 Next stop, 5 k Next stop during the end of this bull run, you're going to see a ten dollars to $12,000 Ethereum. Same thing's going to happen with XRP. XRP's ETF's going to come out. Price is going to go down. People are going to laugh and chuckle and make fun of the XRP community like they always do. And in the meantime, they forget that the exact same thing happened to Bitcoin and Ethereum. Probably Solana as well because I'm sure we're going to see a Solana ETF before we do XRP. And then the price is going to do a moonshot from all the institutional money that is coming in. The views on XRP out to this, the question still remains. Can Ripple do business in America? He's hearing it doesn't matter as all business was done elsewhere. Well, no, it does matter. And he's right. All business was done elsewhere because Ripple couldn't do business in the U.S. Not because they didn't want to, but because U.S. companies and banks wouldn't do business with them because they did not know if XRP was able to be used. Now that we have clarity in the U.S., it is very important that, that Ripple announces or signs or starts up their business flow in the United States because there is a lot of money in the U.S. And Ripple would love to see those beautiful American dollars get on to the XRP ledger and start using XRP as a bridge token. So 100%, it does matter. The U.S. is one of the largest economies in the world. There's a lot of foreign trade. So you want to see XRP being used as the bridge. Worst case scenario, we use the stable coin because the stable coin will still use XRP in the back end. Then we get this, look, and I'd say everyone should have their own market plan and their exit strategy, right? This guy, Crypto Michael, says, if XRP hits my target of $2, he'll make a quick one and a half million. It's not going to be quick. It's going to take a little time because it's not coming this year. You'll see it next year. He said, when it hits that level, I plan on moving the profits into other alts within the bullish setups. That's great. He has his plan. Here's what I said. XRP moves last. So for me... And the way I've seen the market since 2017, you should be into these other coins like Bitcoin and Ethereum because they're going to pop off and they're going to explode. And then you should be rotating profits because XRP is the last mover. That's how we know the cycle's coming to an end when XRP goes parabolic. And he wants to sell at two bucks. To me, I'm not selling XRP at two. XRP is going to break all time high at a minimum. But you know what? He can do what he wants. I'm not here to critique, to criticize what he's doing. I'm just telling you, you should have your own plan. Everyone should have their own exit plan. Listen to Stewart. About 40 seconds into this club, he's going to tell you, no appeals coming. Uh, in our in our minds, we are finally done. Um, the the fine on a, pursuant to the court's order needs to be paid in 30 days, and uh, we will do that. The SEC uh, certainly has the option to pursue an appeal. I think they've got 60 days to make that determination. But again, um, we're, we're focused on the finality that this order uh, gives Ripple. Uh, we want to focus on continuing to grow our business, both um, globally and domestically. Uh, we like the clarity that uh, this lawsuit uh, and the outcome of this lawsuit has provided to us. Um, and that's where that's where we're going to be focused on. And again, uh, if the SEC um, is a rational actor uh, and they are um, uh, and this administration truly 
is serious about hitting the reset button on their war on crypto, there should be no appeal and everybody should be moving on. There you go. From Stewart's mouth directly. I think he knows best. He's been involved in this thing since day one. There should be no appeal. 60 days. Less than that. What, 57 days now? 58 days? You know what Ripple's going to do? They're going to sign a check for $125 million. Be nice if they gave it to an XRP. They're going to pass the SEC the check. The SEC is going to sign on the dotted line, and that's it. Folks, as soon as that money is handed over, as soon as Ripple signs on the dotted line, the SEC signs on the dotted line, that's it. There's no going back. The SEC can't come back to them if they take this check tomorrow in 30 days and by cash your check back, we're, we're decided we're going to appeal. It doesn't work like that. The money is handed over. This thing is done. Stewart knows it. Brad knows it. The SEC knows it. They aren't wasting any more time on this. The SEC thinks they won. Because they're getting paid. Ripple thinks they won. Because they got everything that they wanted out of this lawsuit. Both parties are happy at the end of the day. End of the day. That's it, folks. Look, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to catch you a little later this afternoon. Wash your damn hands. Be nice. Be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.